Welcome to the Money Over 50 podcast, brought to you by Dallas Davison and Michael Hogue from Money Over 50 Financial Advisors. This information is general in nature and does not take into account your objectives, financial situation, or needs. Therefore, you should consider whether the information is appropriate for you and your personal circumstances. If you require personal advice, please contact Money Over 50 Financial Advisors. Here are your hosts, Dallas Davison and Michael Hogue. Welcome to the Money Over 50 podcast with Ali Hogue, myself, and nobody else. So this is going to be a weird one. So usually we have these podcasts and there's two of us in here bouncing off each other, having a conversation. So let's see how I go talking to absolutely nobody except these listeners. So um, I guess the main thing that I sort of want to discuss today is, uh, well, to give a bit of background before I start going anywhere. I've just come back from a trip in Europe, so that was my first time ever going. It was it was it was great. Um, had an awesome time. So that's why I guess no one's heard from me um, for a little while. And of course, in the office, it's been very busy. So uh, apologies that we haven't um, been able to get to you guys with any uh, recent podcasts. But I'm back and definitely going to be making sure that um, we're putting the time in to um, have a chat. So. Um, So, yeah, basically I came back just, I think, two days ago uh, from Europe, just getting over my um, jet lag at the moment. So I think yesterday I ended up going to sleep at 7 a.m., which was uh, just not very good. And it was was actually, it was a struggle. So I went to bed at 7 a.m., woke up at 12 p.m. and um, had no idea if this was going to get any better. But, you know, last night I went to sleep at a good time, so hopefully that's all sorted. Now, I guess what I sort of want to discuss here, it made me, I sort of realised a few things after having that holiday. So um, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, like one of the big things that I, I did notice um, being over there now, I went to a lot of countries, uh, a few countries, so I was hopping around, seeing a lot of awesome things, a lot of new things, and um, embracing sort of their culture, eating a lot of their food, drinking a lot of wine, um, all of this, but it did really make me uh, appreciate what we have at home. And I guess where I'm going with this is, um, I guess, now I'm a a big traveller, and I'm sure a lot of you listeners are are big travellers as well, but it made me think um, to really enjoy what you're doing or to really have a good time and enjoy your life in retirement, you don't need to go far. Now, I went across the other side of the world um, and was paying just crazy amounts of money just to do um, normal things, and the exchange rate wasn't helping. It was very expensive, and, you know, I was going to beaches. I was swimming a lot, but um, in reality, I just didn't see that the cost and value was matching up. Now, a lot of other people might have different opinions on this, and that's completely fine, but in, in my, what it really yeah, made me realise is that, geez, we're lucky being in Australia. Now, there's just so much that we can sort of see here. The beaches are amazing. Uh, the small towns are amazing. Countries are amazing. Like, the country towns are amazing. We've got the Daintree. We've got the Kimberleys. We've got the Reef. We've got, we got so much here. Um, and, uh, it's, it's just true. You just don't need to go. You don't need to go far or to the other side of the world to really enjoy your time and um, have have a good time in retirement. Now, you don't even need to leave your town now. I was, I guess, missing a lot of my um, friends and families here and, and it, yeah, just really made me appreciate sort of what I've got, what my life's like at the moment. Um, and even coming back into the office, I was absolutely itching to come back here. You know, obviously... When you're retired, you don't want to go back to work. That's a that's a big thing. But whatever it is that you enjoy doing, um, getting back to that, actually um, taking a, I guess, stopping every now and then and just sort of um, taking it in and realizing, like, no, life's pretty good. You can you can you can actually appreciate and enjoy what you're doing um, at that moment, rather than having to think that you need to be somewhere else because you really don't. And um, and yeah, that's that was just probably the biggest thing that I found. Like going over there was that uh, 
I just didn't need to go that far to have a good time. Like, just being at home in Townsville, which isn't a big city uh, by any means, um, and then seeing my mates, uh, you know, catching up with family, all those things, uh, even just, like, going to the gym and training. I just absolutely missed that. And now going overseas, I've just got such a, a bigger appreciation for it. And I, I think... Um, yeah, so if, you, if you're ever in, in thoughts thinking you should be doing more or you should be going overseas um, if you can't. Now, if you can and you're an avid traveller, of course, you you do that because that's what you appreciate, that's what you love. Um, but, yeah, you, you just, um, for those who, who might not be able to um, make those travels for whatever reasons, you don't need to feel like you're missing out and that you are you might not be... Um, living your retirement the way you should be because you again you just you can find beauty in the things that you're doing um close by and uh, i think um i think people just need to yeah realize that a bit more some people sort of struggle with that with that feeling but you just don't need to so um this was a i guess a, a quick thought i thought i'd um while i was over there i thought i'd bring up my thoughts on on my trip there um and let yeah just let people Appreciate sort of what you're doing and um, just find beauty in the activities that you can um, do right next door or right where you are, you know. So just just a quick one, just my thoughts. I um, uh, hope everyone's been well and, and yeah, again, sorry that we've been, been away and been a bit quiet. Yeah, everyone's been a bit busy, but we'll be we're back in um, and we'll get everything coming and I can't wait to start chatting to you guys again. Thank you for listening to the Money Over 50 podcast with Money Over 50 Financial Advisors. For more information and resources, visit the Money Over 50 website, mo50.com.au. We look forward to catching up again soon. 